Let's learn English through Educatune with teacher Aya. In an era where almost every information can be searched through the internet, it is essential for one to know how basic aspects of the web actually work. This lesson focuses on exploring the different parts and features of a website to help you be familiarized with matters essential to every web experience. But first, let us define a website. A website refers to a collection of web pages usually grouped and connected together in a number of different ways. Every website is composed of different parts. Each part plays certain roles as to how the entire repertoire of web pages actually works. Let's take a look at the website of DepEd Calabarzon. Just type depedcalabarzon.ph in the address bar. The home page is the opening page, which does the job of welcoming the website visitors, makes them feel they are in the right place, and immediately explains what the website does or is made for. Sliders refer to the changing content area that presents slides of visual information, including large images, texts, announcements, updates, and promotions. The header is the content area at the top of the website which bears the logo as well as the navigation menu. This part likewise includes the taglines, addresses, contact numbers, and buttons used to sign up and log in. The navigation menu is the part of the header which bears the links that take or direct visitors to other parts of the website. This part is sometimes called tabs, links, or pages. The sidebar is the area of the website which displays information that is not part of the page's main content like a call to action or links to recent blog posts or social media accounts. A call to action or CTA is considered one of the most essential parts of a website as it encourages visitors to take action by guiding them on what they really want them to do. Finally, a footer refers to the content area at the bottom of every page that consists a website. This usually bears the contact details, maps, and links to social media accounts among others. Once you are familiar with the different parts of a website, it is now important to learn about the features that make navigating a website easy. A website must at all times be easy to navigate, be easy to read, present relevant and up-to-date content, Use relevant designs such as themes, colors, and visuals. Include a well-presented call to action or CTA. Manifest credibility. Be clear, simple, and can be viewed comfortably and be mobile-friendly. All these features work together so that visitors of any website may be engaged in exploring every part and every content presented and available. Now, let's try to practice what you have learned. Identify the part or feature of a website 
being described in each statement. Number 1. It refers to the content area at the bottom of every page that consists a website. Number 2. This is the part of the header which bears the links that take or direct visitors to other parts of the website. Three, this is the opening page which does the job of welcoming the website visitors. Number four, this is the content area at the top of the website which bears the logo as well as the navigation menu. Number 5. This refers to the changing content area that presents slides of visual information including large images and texts. And last, number 6. This area of the website displays information that is not part of the page's main content like a call to action or links to recent blog posts or social media accounts. Good job! Congratulations for completing this lesson! Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you!